Hey everyone, this is Jake from the team over at Indiegogo and I'm gonna be unboxing the X-Series watch from Sega Design for you today. I'm a big watch fan, so I've been super curious to get this watch in my hands and on my wrist and see what it's all about and makes it so cool uh, and unique and innovative. Um, so before we get into it, I mean, the first thing you'll notice is the packaging itself. It's really well done, it's simple, it's kind of an artful allusion to what you're gonna find on the inside. Um, so get you excited about um, the unique features of the watch that we're gonna find once we get into it. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get this opened up. It's kind of like a book. Um, in fact, the first thing you'll find, this is pretty cool, um, when you open it up, it gives you this little window into the watch face itself um, with the note, audible heartbeat of a machine. So um, pretty cool stuff in terms of getting you excited about what makes the watch so unique. And sure enough, there it is. And as you'll see, it is a pretty unique watch face, um, not only in the sense that um, it's kind of a, a square design as opposed to a classic circle, but also being able to see the inner mechanics of the watch um, is really neat to be able to see. Um, and yeah, moving forward, um, it looks like it comes with two different watch straps. One's kind of a little more like athletic and rubbery, the other a bit more of a fabric. It's probably good for casual use. Um, along with uh, some more information on the materials that uh, the watch is made from. Uh, so for example, the looking glass, the, the face of the watch, is made from uh, synthetic sapphire crystal, which interestingly enough registers as a nine on the Mohs scale of hardness. So the only thing harder than that is diamond. So it's very difficult to actually scratch this watch face. Um, which is good news for me because I've scratched a number of watch faces before and it's good to know that this one's going to hold up a little bit better. Um, the next thing you'll notice, like I mentioned before, is the unique shape of the watch itself. Um, the unique X shape in there. It's kind of a combination of four triangles, which is actually a really uh, stable structure. Um, so that's kind of what they're doing there in terms of like their design intent. Um, and it also gives you some instructions on the inside here and how to start the watch. Um, it's an automatic movement, so once you get it wound the first time, um, it's good to go. So it's actually a self-developed automatic movement. It's the first one that Sega has ever done themselves and it's a design that they patented. Um, so it recharges automatically as you wear it, um, which is really cool. Um, it also has high performance, uh, like a shock vibration absorption system like a suspension system that's kind of inspired by rugged all-terrain vehicle capabilities. So um, you know that the watch itself in its casing is really secure and can kind of take anything that you throw at it. Um, this version in particular is the stainless steel version. They do make it in a grade two titanium version as well. And that one's more designed specifically for sport and outdoors um, for even more durability and extreme like action and wearing conditions. Um, one thing that I was wondering myself um, is how, like how do you read time when it's not the circle and it doesn't actually have numbers along the edges of the face. Um, for one, I'm used to analog clocks and watches so I can kind of tell just to begin with, but they do have their own unique um, way to tell the time and that um, each one of these points here corresponds to a number as well as the immediate size. So of course, three o'clock, you know, six o'clock, this end right here would be uh, seven, this end would be eight, and then nine. So once you've done it a few times, it becomes very easy to read the watch just the way you would any other watch. The last thing that I would note about this watch is you can, it's kind of hard to tell from the camera, but it uses this material called Super Lumi Nova, and it makes it so you can see the watch face even in the dark and tell time in the dark. Um, I know that's one thing that I find kind of annoying with some of my watches that don't have any illumination ability. Um, I find myself in maybe some kind of dark scenario, movie theater or whatever it is, um, and I can't actually see what the time is. Um, so this uses a material that makes it easier for you to not only enjoy the, the beauty of the design of the watch, but also uh, be able to tell the time, which is of course its whole purpose. Awesome, so let's get inside this thing and actually pull this watch out. Um, so here you can see the face out of the box. 
Um, and the first thing I noticed besides, again, obviously the unique uh, design, being able to see the inside mechanics of the watch itself, you can see it ticking there, um, is it's actually pretty weighty. Um, it's heavier than I expected it to be. So it makes me feel pretty encouraged by, given the price point for the stainless steel version, um, being around, I think, 400 MSRP, um, I believe on Indiegogo right now around $300. Um, it's, it's very weighty and feels like really high quality. So that's definitely a, a good sign and something that makes me confident in the durability of this watch itself. To get the watch going, we're gonna give it, uh, we're gonna wind the crown clockwise for 30 forward turns. The, wa the watch is ticking uh, furiously, so I think it's good to go. I pulled it out and now I'm gonna get this time set. Boom, there you have it. It's ticking and it is set to 1140. Let's see if it gets focused there. So you can see the, the second hand moving now um, and everything working on the inside. And that is really cool to see. Um, and also on the back side, you'll notice this is where the movement comes into play. So you can see that pendulum, I suppose, um, that is actually what's recharging the watch as you wear it. Um, so that will keep you going perpetually as long as you're wearing the watch, which is really, really cool. Um, so the next thing would be to get some of these wristbands on. And again, it gives us two different kinds. It gives us this uh, rubber style. This would probably be good for kind of working out and sweating in. Um, and then a more fabric uh, material for casual wearing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do the athletic one. Um, it looks more comfortable too. It's like a nice, soft, rubbery material. And so I'll go to the instructions here on how to get this added. Let's see. So this is the top of the watch. The long end's gonna go on the bottom. Cool. So we got the bottom strap in. That's great, that's snug, that's secure. Then we'll do the same with the top. So just find one notch and then pull this in until it locks on the other. It looks like we got both. So boom, there's the watch on the strap. Looks pretty awesome. Uh, last but not least, let's put it on the wrist. So that, Putting the watch strap on was actually much easier than I expected. For whatever reason, I felt like that was gonna be kind of an annoying thing to do. Um, boom, there's a watch on the wrist. Pretty sweet. It's actually really comfortable. I really like this watch strap material in particular. Um, and you'll also see, I'll take this out one more time. The design of the watch strap itself has all these holes, so it's actually super easy to find the perfect fit. I know with some of my like leather watch straps, I have like this one hole that's a little too loose and the next hole's a little too tight. This one has a lot of options so you can get like the perfect fit, which I really, really like. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna put this back on and uh, spend a day wearing the, the new X series watch from Seagy Design, see how it goes. And if you want to see other unboxing videos like this one, we've got plenty on our YouTube channel uh, for Indiegogo, so be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see what other unique and innovative products uh, that we're unboxing over here.